I don't care about the others as long as I have you. Please marry me, Penelope. I promise to make you happy. I promise to take care of you until my last breath. Please let us spend our lifetime together. Yes, I will marry you. This is what I wish to happen. A happy life. But like so many wishes, it failed to come true. I need not know everything. I was blinded. As I spent my time with him, little did I know, rumors about me were circulating. Hard at all, but I think my wife was betrayed me. Why? What happened? I'm just away. For some time, I felt like there's something between Penelope and Penemut. I also knew that she go, goes out with some suitors. <laughs> she cheated on you. I guess so, but she better not. A sunny afternoon when Penelope and Ampenimus are talking to each other. Oh, what a wonderful morning to see you, Penelope. How your husband and you? We're fine. Oh, that's great if you have a problem about your husband. Just tell me or talk to him. After that conversation, Penelope decided to go home when she saw her mother and her cousin talking to each other. Oh, mother, why are you here? I'm here to visit you. Where is your husband? Oh, he went something important, and it will take him a long time to get home. Oh, that's right. Where? How do you say so, mother? 
Oh, nothing. Don't mind it anymore. How are you, Penelope? I'm fine. How about you, Helen? I'm fine too. You talk pale. Now, are you pregnant? No, I'm not. You better to feel audacious about it, okay? I allowed it to drag on. Even though I knew something was wrong. I believe all those lies and sugar-coated words. It made me hung onto something that we never really had. Apparently, it was all just my fantasy. Deep inside me, I dream of a happy ending. Both of us all smiles. Not a care in the world. But just as every other wish... It failed to come true. You took the last glimmer of home in me so easily. Silly me. I thought deep down you loved me. And the hardest part, you made me think that we could happen. But now, I'm all isolated and broken. I still remember as I walked down that alley. All those eyes looking on me. From every look, my confidence is what they took. Hey, are you that thirsty? One guy is not enough for you. Do you wanna try us out? Come on, we won't bite you. <laughs> <laughs> I realized so many people were laughing behind my back and slowly turning me into a story. All the rumors he planted birth root, but all... I did was to let it slide, because at the time I can neither fight nor hide. What can a woman do when a scandalous gossip troubles the world? If I defend myself, I sound guilty, but still that as a way to underworld is much too high, a price to pay for the satisfaction of curiosity. Now that I am dead, I know everything.